Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I am going to teach you guys how to counter Lamb. In my previous video, I told you how Lamb is the strongest hero in the current meta, especially if you build him tanky. And there is basically like no easy way of countering him. That is actually true still. As a 5 man, you can counter him. But uh, if you are going to be facing him uh, in solo queue, it's really hard. And the best chance that you have for countering him is with Levi and now the thing about Levi is he has two stuns, two abilities to dodge and also very good burst damage so even though Levi cannot one shot a lamb with all three of his abilities in the late game he can still poke lamb and uh, get out safely so which allows him to uh, go again and kill him if he wants to right so if that makes sense like if any other warrior or any other assassin if you think about uh, like any other warrior or any other assassin it's always the case how uh, lamb can just fight back and kill them but with Leba it's a little bit different because he doesn't stand and fight instead he just drops his abilities and leaves which means that lamb will not be able to attack Levi but Levi can attack lamb so that is the only advantage that we have even though we don't one shot him we can kill him if he's at like half or like 60 percentage of hp with one combo and also you know how uh, bad lamb is against stuns right as long as he's not getting stunned he can kill uh, like even five enemies uh, if he just keeps spamming yeah this is what i meant so lamb tried to attack me there but then i i went back and so he missed okay dodged mines first ability with my second ability and now i think i'm pretty much dead because lamb is yeah he's going to kill me it's like uh, 3v3 but i had to do most of the tanking for my team and uh, also all my abilities were on cooldown so there wasn't anything i could do i was actually targeting mine right so if i had targeted lamb from the start itself uh, i could have made him retreat instead of him trying to fight back and kill me right there uh so yeah that was uh like that was the best i could have done there i don't regret anything right there we even got one kill uh, even though we didn't get the kill we got the assist so that is pretty good uh so yeah um coming back to the second jungle rotation and also guys leba is pretty fast in jungle he can uh, clear jungle creeps uh really faster than a tanky lamb i know that uh lamb with an attack uh, damage build can clear jungle really fast but uh, a tanky lamb will struggle a little bit not struggle but he will take some time to clear the jungle but Leba is much faster than that okay so we are back at the red buff and it hasn't even spawned yet so I'm just waiting okay it has spawned so let me just get it and I'm going to uh, gank the bottom lane again so the bottom lane is the slayer lane and I don't know why all the enemies were in the slayer lane when I came uh, here the previous time so this time it's just mine and here we go two dashes reached her four stacks alt easy as that simple kill and also thanks to the assistance of our uh, Liampo and you guys see how lamb was a little bit late, uh, late right so apparently he started from his uh, red side of the jungle I don't know why he did that and then ended up in the DS lane maybe that is to match my rotation uh, so usually players do that if enemy is uh, enemy jungler is going to attack the bottom lane you can also like start from the red buff go to blue buff and go bottom lane so that you and your warrior can like fight the enemy jungler like 2v2 instead of your warrior being in a solo situation against two so i think that's what he did but you clearly saw how fast we were able to out uh, jungle him i guess uh, we we completed the uh, jungle rotation like at least 10 to 15 seconds earlier than him which is huge which is really huge so yeah finally coming to the abyssal i mean what is this uh, tyrant lane i guess and okay did a lot of damage to their uh, gong sun li that is arli and i'm going to go in again they are still right there fighting so let's see okay she came out and got hit by me again uh, so and also nice uh, white collar was able to hook their uh, thane and we were able to assist marco polo in killing the enemy early even though she tried to flick her out okay now the red side is spawning but uh, i see lamb if you see the map look at the map see lamb is in my red buff so he's actually getting my red buff so 
I decided to go to his jungle and get his hand in the map if you see see Milady is coming right so this is why you need to pay attention to the map guys like you can see a lot of things like this okay I was able to teleport back to the shadow and attack her but then I see Then coming and don't want to risk it uh, this is a ranked match and this is five five man queue guys so one random and uh, four teammates in my side uh, I invited one from the general chat okay Okay, next jungle rotation is up. Sage buff is uh, just now spawning, but I have to go and clear the bottom lane. I think the tower is pretty much down. I don't think I can defend it, or maybe I can, but uh, I don't want to just leave it like that. Yeah, she's surely dead, I think. Okay, yeah, look at how much damage we deal without even our ultimate. Our ultimate is basically like uh, another second ability, in my opinion. Most of our uh, damage comes from our auto attacks and first ability. So if you have the the blue color equipment which is the equivalent of Omniums in AOV you can actually do a lot of damage with your first ability and auto attacks. Okay I know Lamb is going to get my sage buff here and I'm really pissed about that. I tried to use my second ability and steal it but he got it so I'm going to try and kill him and get it. Okay we got a kill. Nice engage by our team. One more stack and I would have been able to kill him but he got away. So let's at least try to kill uh, this guy. I'm not using my second ability because I know it doesn't uh, like come into the range. So I waited until my first ability came so that I can do a good combo with my S1 and S2. Okay, my in is here. I go to the creep, get 4 stacks, dodge her uh, first ability with my second ability and then again dodged her uh, second ability with my third ability. And see, I only barely took a little bit of damage from her. And you know how strong my in hits, like how hard she hits if, if she lands her ability perfectly on Levi. He's like just one shot at So it's very crucial that I was able to dodge both of her abilities there. If not, I would have surely died. You guys, like, if you know mine, you know how much damage she deals. Like, one shots literally any squishy. And especially an assassin like Levi is, like, one of the most squishiest assassins. Okay, Milady just threw all her abilities on me. And again, I used my ultimate to dodge her uh, ultimate. <clears throat> Okay, Lamb is here, but I'm not going to go there. I know he will go back. He's not going to take a fight. Uh, yeah, like I said, he retreated. So if I like try to go towards my Marco Polo, trying to save him, like thinking that Lamb will attack him, it would have been a huge waste of time, right? So thankfully, I didn't do that. Um, okay, let's see. We have the most gold, but I think their Lamb also has a lot of gold. So this is like an even matchup I would say uh, because their lamb is not bad nor does he not know how to farm. He has the highest gold in his team and I have the highest gold in mine and I also think he has the second highest gold overall. Okay lamb is here. She stunned lamb once and he just had to retreat because all four of us are here and he doesn't want to take the fight because like it's okay i went in and poked and look at this lamb just blankly threw all his abilities and before he could do anything i came back and again the same thing for mine as well so this is what you can do with levi you can make lamb miss all his abilities but you can still attack use your abilities and come back okay mine see this is what i said guys look at that if if she had used one more auto attack i would have been sent to heaven directly that is why it is very important that you dodge all of mine's abilities if you don't do that you will just get one shot <laughs> like that how you saw my hp immediately drop to like two or three percent just one shot okay still focusing on jungle never let uh, like your focus waver from the jungle because once you like uh, stop jungling and fully start joining team fights you will never feel like going back to the jungle and that is a very big mistake a lot of junglers do and that is what puts them in a huge disadvantage after some time okay i know he will try to fight here all lamb players are cocky so he's going to come here so i call our fire mage caddy and i stun him stun him again and okay we got the sage buff okay he's trying to get away and i'm going to chase him stun stun auto attack ultimate see this is this is this is what i uh, said exactly guys and also i was able to dodge thane's ultimate with my uh, ultimate and uh, yeah mine is also dead wow triple kill for our fire mage i think 
yeah well played well played okay so yeah th that's what i was talking about guys so lamb uh, like levi doesn't uh, give lamb like any chance of taking stacks he can dodge lamb's ultimate he can dodge lamb's auto attacks he can dodge pretty much anything that lamb throws and he can still deal damage to him i would not recommend you to try and go 1v1 against uh, lamb and try to win him uh, it might be very hard uh, if not impossible but then as a counter pick leba is very much effective uh, like you can clearly see that from this match okay uh, that was close but i knew that uh, like i wouldn't die there <laughs> it's so funny to see a lot of people dying to the tyrants it's it's uh, i used to do that like uh, when i started playing the game we wouldn't know and it's like one of the worst deaths that you can possibly like die i guess while <laughs> dying to the shadow tyrant or the dragon okay still clearing the jungle fully focused join a fight complete the fight immediately go back to the jungle clear all your jungle creeps so this is what you should do never stay too long in a fight or never wait too long for a fight to happen so this is like the biggest advice that i would give any jungler who is trying to learn jungle right now okay guys uh okay see how she immediately flickered after she after uh, she saw me okay nice escape by arli oh no this is a bad position but look my ultimate saved me after finishing my ult i immediately dashed out and i escaped and their lamb literally messed up all of my other teammates i thought about recalling here and then i thought about helping our fire mage see all of this i am doing looking at the map see if you look at the map there is a lot more thing that you can see than what you see on your screen so that is very important guys so lot of plays that i make are going to be based off of what i see on the map you might be thinking how does this guy know enemies are coming from this direction enemies are coming this way that way all that is thanks to the map and here me and caddy engaged and i killed mine and uh, she got the uh, dragon and then uh, lamb chased her all the way but since i was at like 5 hp i didn't immediately go and help her i had to get the like i had to wait for my first ability and then i had to go in and uh, only then i was able to help her and we got the kill on lamb as well so that is pretty good we got two kills we got also the dragon and uh, we escaped so only one person lost from our side that's a very good trade back to the jungle immediately not wasting any time at all and we are at full hp didn't need to recall after some time uh, usually your equipments will automatically give you life steal so if you are the jungler don't even worry you will just uh, uh, like uh, like life steal off of jungle creeps here i i saw mine attacking there and look at how much damage we did and now i'm standing in this uh, brush so that they hardly cannot attack me so this is again what i saw from the map so i knew milady was here because i saw in the map that she was right there so another one of my plays that i did or was able to do because i was paying attention to the map amazing kill by uh, our fire mage on the enemy lamb okay uh nice okay coming back to the blue buff like if uh, if she didn't get the kill there uh, the uh, the sage buff would have been stolen like if a lamb was able to get the kill and he won the fight i will lose my jungle so that hasn't happened so far and i'm really thankful to my team for that so once you start losing fights the enemy jungler will start uh, camping your jungle oh this this thane pushed me i was going to ult early but then i got stunned by their thane and uh, yeah unfortunate okay go in bye come out okay let's wait okay oh she left her umbrella all the way behind the altar and came here nice nice strategy but uh, i don't think they are going to be able to win okay nice went in got another kill dodged the tower shot okay okay lamb is here look at this guys look at this lamb look at lamb in four enemies he's not dying he's just not dying until i had to go in and stun him and deal the uh, auto attack damage and that is how he was able to like we were able to kill him like he was basically in the middle of all four of my teammates and he was invincible he was just healing off he was just using his s2 and auto attacks and uh, luckily i was able to like dash in deal the heavy damage and uh, like shut him down but our white collar got the kill but uh, you know uh, without me right there they would have all died 
because it's just two tanks and a mage and lamb could like infinitely heal off of them so yeah uh, like try levi i if you if you forget to ban lamb or uh, if your teammates didn't ban lamb and if the opponents pick lamb try to pick levi levi is very solid against lamb i can surely say that he is uh, like especially if you know how to play him so yeah uh, i hope this video helped it it actually like once i found out that levi is like a very good counter to lamb it was a life changer for me because i am trying to push ranks as well okay so that's going to be it for today's video guys i hope you all found this video entertaining and helpful and if you did make sure to support me by hitting the like and subscribe button i hope you all all have a really great day and i'll see you guys in the next video